a nurse awesome, I could ask a really great question via email yesterday that I wanted to share with you guys. The person asked me if there was a specific temperament or personality type that fit into different areas of nursing because they were very drawn to L&D and they had been told that they were way too hard and fast to fit in with L&D kind of cheerleader, fluffy type people. First of all, you know, to the person who sent me that email, I'm super sorry that somebody told you you couldn't fit where your heart feels drawn. That really sucks. Don't listen to it. Do what your heart tells you because that's usually, <clears throat> always, the best thing for you to do. Second of all, I do know some L&D nurses that are quite hard and quite fast and wicked smart. So the whole fluffy label, I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, probably by someone in another specialty that wanted to feel really important about what they do, right? Um, well, it's real hard to make a blanket statement that says to work in ER, you need to have this personality or to go up to ICU, you need to be like dot, dot, dot. There are some things that you can do while you're in school to kind of start to lean or feel your way to one area of specialty or the other, right? So let's pay attention first to what you're doing in theory. Um, you know, where is it that you're studying that you feel totally, totally connected with? Like, you know this. For me, specifically, oh my gosh, reading about mother baby nursing felt like you were pulling my fingernails out with, you know, a pair of pliers. It was excruciating to me. In very basic concepts, I had to read over and over and over again. It was just like that for me. So I knew L&D wasn't some place that I was going to go. Had an awesome clinical experience in L&D, but still, I knew, just from theory, it wasn't where I fit. On the other hand, you know, studying about liver failure, um, acute respiratory dysfunction, cardiac stuff, all of that really tripped my trigger. I knew, wow, I want to work in critical care in some way, you know. So... Aside from theory and really paying attention to where your ease is at, where it feels easy for you when you're studying, um, look at your clinical situation a little bit. Uh, let's take this example. Let's say a couple of weeks ago that you had a client that was a uh, cancer patient. And then last week you had someone that was geriatric who had a fracture. And then let's say this week, that you have someone that has CHF. Okay, so you may not see the similarities or the differences there. You may not start to really feel at the beginning like you're picking an area of nursing. But if you pay attention to what you feel at the end of the day, pay attention to what you feel when you are gathering your patient information, when you're teaching your patient, well, those are like breadcrumbs on your path. Here's what I mean. So let's say that you're teaching your oncology patient. You loved what you were doing when you were gathering your patient data. All of those things about fluid electrolyte imbalance and chemo and its effect and how you treat that as a nurse, helping someone do life review, all of those things made you feel expanded and awesome. And when you left the end of that 12-hour clinical day, it was as if you had been there for one minute. That's a pretty big clue that you may be a rockin' oncology nurse. Let's say that, on the other hand, it was your geriatric patient that was in Buck's Traction that you were fascinated with. You were fascinated with the machinery and the way that the surgeon had put their leg back together. Maybe ortho is your groove. See how that works? So for me, that's the way it happened. I went into school thinking that I was going to be an ED nurse because trauma and that cool stuff your body does to try to maintain its homeostasis, what happens when it goes wrong, those things lit me on fire. They made me feel, it was easy for me to study about all of that stuff, right? And I loved it. Um, I also liked fast pace. I also knew about myself that I got really bored really quickly. So I got a job as a unit secretary in an emergency department, and guess what I learned? Wow, emergency nurses get their butts kicked every day. It is constant, nonstop, 
In comes the patient, get the labs, hang the fluid, draw the blood, give the medicine, discharge the patient, lather, rinse, repeat. Over and over. They never sit down. They don't have a lot of time to spend with the patient talking other than discharge because they have so many things to do. I figured out that even though I dug that aspect that was fast-paced, I wasn't going to dig the fact that I couldn't really see my patients very much. So that's when I decided to focus on being in the ICU because I would get the critical care component, that wonky physiology that was going on with the patient, the uh, fast pace, and I would also get to spend some time there. So for me, that was a huge breadcrumb on my path, right? I paid attention to how I felt in clinical. I paid attention to the theory that I was studying and my own life experience, right? So keep in mind that everything that's happening to you right now if you'll pay attention to it, it's showing you where you fit, what you should choose to do with your nursing career, what it is that lights you up, you know. So at the end of the day, what you really want to get to is a job in nursing that shows off your best parts. And if you are a hard-edged, fast-paced person that loves mother-baby nursing, you need to go for that because that's where your best parts will be shown. That's where you will feel expansive and that's where your patients will get the best benefit. And that's where you will be a happy, happy nurse and where you'll be awesome. Until next time, you guys, keep the questions coming. I appreciate it. Peace, y'all.